My name is Joe Abono. I'm the general manager at Simmons at Bristow. We're here in the NATA accredited laboratory on our Brisbane premises where we tested the Echo Line inline uh, freshwater chlorinator to determine how much chlorine it produces. We've tested the unit a number of times over the last 18 months for different purposes. In March 2010, we bench tested the chlorinator here in this lab. Uh, to determine exactly how much chlorine it produces. And even just using the dissolved solids in Brisbane's tap water, it produced enough chlorine to meet the Australian drinking water guidelines. We also determined what unwanted byproducts of disinfection were present, and they were in small enough quantities to also pass the drinking water guidelines. So that was a very positive result. A search of the scientific articles around the technology used by the Echo Line inline chlorinator indicated that it produces a number of other oxidants that might be useful for disinfection. Uh, we found hydrogen peroxide, chlorine dioxide and other oxidants that could be useful. Um, we look forward to working with Australian Innovative Systems to do exhaustive testing of these other oxidants and finding out if they can be uh, useful for oxidising and disinfecting water in the future. In July 2010, we visited an installation of the Echo Line plant on Maclay Island. The, the plant there was being used by All Connects Water to provide recycled water for subsurface irrigation of a nearby golf course. Our testing of the unit proved that it produces Class C water or better and is suitable for that subsurface irrigation. In December 2010, we visited a municipal wastewater plant nearby that the Echo Line system was installed downstream of the treatment plant but upstream of the ultraviolet treatment plant. The aim of that experiment was to compare the power consumption and the kill rate of the Echo Line plant with the ultraviolet disinfection. So, what we found to uh, we were measuring the kill rate on faecal coliforms and enterococci, they're two bacteria that uh, occur in water and cause problems. And to achieve the desired kill rates, the Ecoline system used about 45 kilowatt hours of energy. The ultraviolet treatment plant of an equivalent size uses 750 kilowatt hours. So the Ecoline plant is considerably more power efficient at doing the same job. Of course, the Ecoline system produces chlorine and so you have to have some holding tanks so the chlorine can gas off, otherwise it might harm the environment or might harm the filtration plant downstream. But even with those holding tanks, the Ecoline system is still a cost effective and power efficient solution for disinfecting wastewater. Simmons & Bristow specialises in the design and the commissioning of wastewater treatment plants. We provide solutions to our clients to minimise the power consumption and maximise the efficiency of the plants and keep the environment and the people who use the downstream water safe. The testing that we've done on the Echo Line chlorinator encourages us to use that as part of our solution going forward. We're all looking for ways to minimise power consumption and keep the environments as clean as possible. With the impact of global warming and the need for fresh water, solutions like the Ecoline inline system are an important part of creating a sustainable way of treating sewage and producing clean water in the future. I'm Santiago Ramirez. I'm the overall site manager for Orlong Park. Orlong Park is a free-range egg farm run by Farm Pride, and we are in the biggest free-range egg farm in Australia. Currently we're using chemical dosing, essentially chlorine, um, and we try to sanitize 24,000 litres a day, which requires a lot of chlorine. This obviously impacts our overheads, and also we believe it impacts the environment. We're proposing the use of Ecoline, as we think it's a one-step product that will sanitize our water, that will guarantee us that that water is safe for the chickens to drink. We believe that Ecoline will guarantee us that the water that we feed our chickens, it's micro microbiologically safe. The water sanitation, um, it's a crucial part for our business. 
and a crucial part from our hazard and critical control point program. Currently find that we have to do this testing of the water on a daily basis. Uh, for our quality assurance program, we want to have a good balance in the amount of chemicals that we use. Um, we don't want to use too many chemicals, um, but we also don't want to use too little because we found that chemical dosing can sometimes uh, be inaccurate and it can vary. Um, we're currently looking for a system that will take us away from that. We are, are currently spending a lot of man hours, um, which increase the cost of our businesses, um, just for monitoring the water and try to get this water clean. And that's why we like to use, or we believe that Ecoline is a very good product as it will take us away from the use of chemicals, away from constantly trying to see if we use the right amount of chlorine or not, if we put too much, if we put too little, um, and steering us away from using a lot of time um, in seeing if what we're doing is correct. Um, we're really looking forward for a product like Ecoline because it will save us a lot of time. It will give us a peace of mind that the system is working as we can monitor it remotely and it will guarantee us that that water is essentially sanitized. Given that Ecoline is a modular system, we, when we expand, we know that with Ecoline we can just expand the system and it will deliver the amount of sanitation that we require. Obviously, the amount of water that the chickens consume changes with the climate. In Australia, we have very extreme climate, and in summer, the water consumption almost doubles. So we can go for about 24,000 litres a day to 40,000 litres a day. We know that with Ecoline, we can deliver the sanitation that we want. We are confident with Ecoline because the built, the technology, the information about the technology is readily available to us. I think this is also in line with our goals here, that we want to be as close as nature as possible. We want to ensure that our customers know that what we're doing here is as close to the ground as we can. My name is Alan Lewis. I'm a pool cons uh, consultant. Uh, my original discipline was architecture and town planning. Today I've specialised in pool consulting and in pool chemistry in order to be able to refine and improve the disinfection of pools wherever they might be in Australia and in the world for that matter. Ecoline first came to my uh, attention when uh, Australian Innovative Systems in, que in Brisbane, Queensland actually took notice of one of my articles in which I ad advocated the creation of a system which would use ordinary tap water and be able to chlorinate the water sufficiently to disinfect it to the standards that are common in Australia and in fact in the world. And this amazing achievement um, has put AIS at the lead, as the leading manufacturer in the world of this type of system. And we're sitting next to a pool here which illustrates that it can be done. This pool has two million litres of water and no imported chlorine is used in this disinfection process. In fact, the box that holds the electrolysis system is probably about one-sixth of the volume of the chlorine tanks that would be needed to chlorinate this pool under conventional methods. So this is a huge achievement. In point of fact, there is no chlorine in the plant room. All of the chlorine is being created from ordinary tap water. Okay, several years ago, I wrote articles in, in the, uh, pre the uh, appropriate journals, um, journals that are read by uh, various people in the industry, uh, suggesting that maybe we could 
actually achieve what has been achieved here today. At that time, most people thought I was attacking the fact that salt water isn't too easy to recycle. Amongst the people that uh, I spoke to around that same time were people from AIS who were the engineers in, in developing up their chlorination um, ele electrolysis processes and uh, obviously they listened very closely to what I ha uh, had to say because several years later uh, here we are with a product which actually does what I was dreaming about 10 years ago. So uh, it's very uh, rewarding for me to sit here and think that uh, I had a hand in persuading some very intelligent um, engineers to develop up a product which now leads the world uh, in, in its achievements because uh, no other, pers other organization or manufacturer has managed to create a salt chlorination or a chlorinator or electrolysis system that can work from as low a TDS as 250, T TDS being total dissolved solids. So from 250 milligrams per litre upwards, this system works fine and meets the requirements of the most stringent disinfection systems. As far as the global market is concerned, I think it's already made a huge impact. And uh, it's um, how we say, because so many people were only doing experiments in the laboratory where they could produce it on a small scale, here we are with it next to a two million litre pool and it's been quite satisfactorily disinfected uh, to all of, to, to world standards with no added chlorine at all, just from the, from the uh, electrolysis of ordinary tap water as it comes out of the, the taps in Queensland.